your referee, Mr. Atsushi Onari, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 15 seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of knockout, pit for the court, pit in D. champion. Four ounce gloves. No room, no margin for error. It's all our power. It's all our aggression. It's one super serious kickboxing. It's only three by three. There's no room for a filling out process. And Earth's already hunting on the front foot. Like in Jaquani when he starts to move to his right. He starts moving to the left. That's the wrong way to go right now. That's in the power side of Erso. Drifting the other way to Ertesol's right leg kick. Injikwani on the outside. Goes inside by. Doubles up on that leg kick to Injikwani. Ertesol just sitting himself here. There's the right hand. Smack back to the kisser. And Jaquani goes down. And a more cool cover from that. It was an absolute power. And a kill Ertesol. Another opponent! Wow, what a right hand he caught in Jaquani. Move into the, his side, move into that power side. It wasn't the head kick, but it was a nice. Let's take a look at this. Oh, he's moving to the right side that time, but boom, right on the chin. And then he follows it up with a nice knee to the body, and then he gets it. He was drifting slightly into the, right, the left, and then boom, gets caught with that right hand. Boom, the first one hurt him. He's wobbled. The knee, but then the last one, ah, the last one, I don't think the last one was even needed. He grazed him on the side of the chin. Two punches, then a knee that falls in Jaquani in half, and then a final punch. That's all it takes for Rickin Ursel to knock out Anthony and Jaquani. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Yuji Shimada, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and three seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of knockout, Rekhian Ersel! You know that Rekhian Ersel is going to have both eyes on Nikki Holtzkin later on tonight. Great sportsmanship, martial arts values of honor, respect and integrity in the ring as always between two superb martial artists. Rekhian the Immortal Ersel, winner by knockout, he is now two Supreme. And he's going to try and get on the inside and work the overhand right. Head down in southpaw start. So feeling our process so far, but that left leg is cocked and ready. You can see his strategy. He's trying to inch forward. He's trying to apply that pressure. But, you know, he's kind of playing right into the strength of Petkin. He's got to move. On the inside after riding a double of high left roundhouse kicks from Petam and referee Olivia Kels breaks them, but already we've seen the speed and the power on that favorite left kick. Here comes Kenny C, rocket to the right hand. Jab two there from Kenny, falls short. This is what Kenny has to do, he has to keep applying that pressure because that's three now. Big left kicks. You can see the game plan of C trying to counter off the left roundhouse kicks. I'd like to see him start moving a little bit to the outside to keep that foot constantly stepping out to the left because these are brutal. Oh, Kenny gets on the inside again, wins three left roundhouse kicks, ties up Pet Down, Pet Down throws a knee, they tangle, and Olivia Kels breaks it. That left roundhouse kick of Pet Down is frightening. Oh, Kenny gets caught. Oh. He's out. Oh. This one's over. It's the left roundhouse kick. I told you, it's one of the greatest weapons in the combat world. And it knocks out Kenny C. Nobody, nobody, nobody can stand up to that left roundhouse kick. Man, it was land. It was, he was just figuring it out. He caught him first. And then you see Kenny C kind of wore one on the arm a little bit. But then he was starting to find the range, find the timing of that. Caught him at the top of the head. Can he see 
dropped his glove ever so slightly and Pet Stamp just uncorked a mass. Look at this. Just, and then finished it off with the knee and down he goes. Rich, I was watching your facial expressions during that replay and your eyebrows almost flew off your head. That is one of the greatest weapons in the combat sports world, isn't it? That left roundhouse. I, I tell you what, if you didn't see it from the first kick that landed there, he was already out. And I think it was actually the knee that held him up from going down uh, right there. Yeah. And then he's able to actually throw a third one. Interestingly enough, if you didn't pay attention, he did not throw, Petstam did not throw any technique except for the leg kick until after that last leg kick was landed and then finally a knee came in and then an elbow at the end. That is the only technique he threw the entire first round. That's and, it. But the knee didn't even touch the head. The knee caught him on the shoulder, Rich, and he was already out. He was out on his feet. He was going to fall forward. Petstam kneed him in the shoulder to keep him upright and then Kenny C just the left roundhouse kick. There is nothing else like that kick on the planet. It is phenomenal. Pit down, now 2-0 and oh with two knockouts in one Super Series. Let's go to Dominic Lau, make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Ghost, has put a stop to this contest after one minute and 26 seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of knockout, Pendam Kayan Kadam! Tribulation here in Bangkok as the great Pendam Kayan Kadam uses the precinct of downtown Jakarta, Indonesia. Trey dominance in the first. Round for your winner by way of knockout. Run! 